Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And today I'm making my dinner, and tonight for dinner I'm making cavietti. Cavietti is a, a pasta, it's a particular shape, uh, looks like little pillows. Um, interesting food, it's, uh, you can take backpacking. Now, why would you take pasta, make pasta backpacking? There's a couple of reasons. Number one, probably it's because it's fun. Especially if you have kids, you can go around and make it and shape it. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun. And the second reason is uh, fresh made pasta takes like two minutes to cook. So, you know, other than just kind of the fun factor, it cooks up quick and it's an interesting meal. So the ingredients are really simple. I'm going to have a half a cup of flour. And this is a half a cup, this is a uh, semolina flour. And to that, we need to add one and a half eggs, but we're gonna use the uh, powdered over easy. And that's one and a half tablespoons. A pinch of salt, and that's it. So, pinch of salt. And that's all there is to it. Now, on the field, uh, when you're backpacking, you're going to add about, um, I think it's two tablespoons of water and a half a tablespoon of olive oil. But for now, I, I didn't get a chance to wait beforehand, so let me tell you how much this weighs. Again, this is uh, one cup of pasta mix, and this should be enough for two uh, people. That weighs 6.3 ounces, so it's pretty light. Okay, if you're taking notes earlier, I made a mistake. Uh, it's not one and a half tablespoons of um, Ova Easy. It's two tablespoons of Ova Easy. Um, this comes out at 6.3 ounces. So now I'm gonna add the water and the olive oil. To this we add three tablespoons of water. And we're gonna add half a tablespoon of olive oil. Once the dough is mixed, um, you, need the, you knead it with your hands, squish it all together, and then you let it rest for about 20 minutes. And this is where the fun part. So I fired up the emergency kitchen. We're using the uh, link stove option with this. Uh, one of the things that's kind of cool, if you take a look, that windscreen, what I've done is I've taken two it's snap windscreens and snapped them end to end to make me this mega wide windscreen. It was too dark to finish filming, but come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.